staying outdoors for less. And we do have a pretty good freezing rain event, ice storm event on the way to Upper Michigan. Let's look at your local three radar network here. And you can see we do have an ice storm warning for a good part of Upper Michigan. Usually we don't get these types of events where the majority of the precipitation comes in the form of freezing rain. And if we work to get one of these events, usually it's going to be in the later half of winter. Nonetheless, here we go. First full week in February and we do have an ice storm on the way and you can see count Counties here in the purple are under an ice storm warning. We do have a winter storm warning in Barriga County, Southern Houghton County, and Ontonagon County. And then we also have a winter weather advisory for the Keweenaw Peninsula. Here's what's ahead here. Freezing rain for the overnight hours on into Monday. And that's going to create some difficult travel conditions, especially on the back and secondary roads. But some of the bigger roads, such as M28, 41, and US2, could have some issues as well. We could also see the rain mixed with some sleet and snow and closer to Lake Michigan, we could see it mixed with rain. And then everybody goes back to snow on Monday evening. So here's the ice accumulation here. In the red, we could potentially be looking at maybe up to a half inch of ice, and that includes from Marquette southward to Gwynn, McFarland, and then eastward towards Munising, Grand Marais, and north of Newberry. Still, though, in the purple and the darker pink, anywhere from maybe two-tenths of an inch to four-tenths of an inch, lighter, out, lighter ice amounts in the Keweenaw Peninsula and also right along the immediate Lake Michigan shoreline. So here we go with our local three future cast. Stop it here at 6 a.m. for superintendents that are going to go out and check the conditions around 5 a.m. And this is for areas especially closer to Lake Superior and towards Grand Marais and Newberry. Some of the freezing rain may not make it to you around 5 a.m. when you do the check. I'm not vouching for a snow day here, but there could be a chance for some of us that the conditions at 5 a.m. will be different than 8 a.m. Nonetheless, we're looking at widespread freezing rain in here by the morning hours. And look at this. Some of the rain could sneak on in right along the Lake Michigan shoreline and in the eastern UP. That's why there'll be some lighter amounts of ice closer to Lake Michigan. Then as we go into Monday afternoon, still continuing with freezing rain east of Marquette over towards the Sioux, but the Keweenaw Peninsula western UP should start changing back over to snow. And then we got lake effect snow as we go into Tuesday. Next storm system, next UP wide snow event comes in on Tuesday night going on into Wednesday. Here's our temperature forecast. We're looking at temperatures 8 a.m. 20s and 30s, but Arctic air, colder air starting to come on in. And when I mean Arctic air, not as bad as we had last week, but still you'll notice the chill. By noon, we're looking at temperatures dropping west of Marquette. Here's our 7 p.m. temperatures. You can see that much colder air starting to flow into upper Michigan and that could cause the roadways and any other things that have some wet snow or some water on them to freeze up rather quickly. And then as we go into Tuesday night, we're looking at low temperatures, single digits, but some spots below zero. And as we look at our snowfall forecast here, we're looking at amounts higher as you go into the Keweenaw Peninsula and far western UP, potentially up to six to nine inches of snow, lighter amounts as you head towards Lake Michigan and the eastern UP. We're going to see the winds pick up tomorrow afternoon as well. At times, winds could be gusting over 25, maybe over 30 miles per hour along the Lake Superior shoreline. We'll keep those gusty winds going tomorrow night, and then as we go into the daytime on Tuesday, the winds will become lighter. So there's your extended forecast there. Keep in mind, we're looking at colder temperatures by the afternoon, and then winter has its firm grip on us through the rest of the week, along with